I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. It's eager time here on Game to Love. It's one of our favourite times of the day, of the week, of the year. It's eager at the French Open, and she is looking to continue her long, unbeaten streak. Obviously, she has been absolutely destroying the rest of the tour, and all anybody is talking about on the women's side is eager Sviontek. I'm... I'm here for it. I'm absolutely looking forward to see what we're, what we're going to get next. Gilbert saying, eager 30 on a roll. Uh, let's just see what Alison Risk can put up uh, today. And there's a great winner off the forehand side of Iga Sviontek. Me lands in. Can't say this will make it 30. Oh, I like it. I prefer it when it's a nice round number, don't you, Carlton? I, I definitely do. But wouldn't it be mad if it went to 40 as well? Uh, or 31. Wherever she ends up, it will be great. Right. Oh, I've got a different uh, view going on there. It's a bit, of, bit weird. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Back to normal. Uh, I'm interested to know what your score predictions are for this one. Put them in the live chat, please. Uh, if you're going to do it, I'd say do it right about now. <laughs> Right, so I'll get in first because I know that you're all a little bit shy giving a little prediction. I'm going to be going eager in two and I'm going to be going for 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. Right, give me your ones. Apparently, if she reaches the row, uh, if she wins the Roland Garros, she will be 35 unbeaten, the same as Venus Williams. Wow, that's brilliant. Carlton going with 6-4-6-2. Eve going with 6-1-6-1. Six, one, six, one. Mikey in with 6-1-6-3. Six, six, Good to see Mikey back in the live chat. That one's long from risk on the baseline. I feel like Eager's going to need a new button as well soon. She has uh, quite a short one. She needs a bit of a longer one. We need to jazz it up. We need to give her a bit more respect. Not like the people at Roland Garros. Why is Eager's free on tech? not playing on Philip Chatrier. That's what I want to ask you guys in the live chat. Because do you know? Because I don't know. How dare you put Igor Sviontek on Suzanne Longlin? I think it's disrespect of the highest order. World number one, former uh, French Open champion. And you go and stick her on the second court. Not having it. For who? Who's on Who's on the Philip Chatrier? Come on, who? Come on, tell me. Oh, Madison Keys versus Caroline Garcia. Get off. Not having it. Right. Yeah, there you go. Keys, not even giving her a name there. Can't Keys is playing on Shatter against some French woman. Yep, that's right. <laughs> favoring the French there and not favoring the world number one. Uh, on an incredible unbeaten streak, as we know. We'll keep on going on about it uh, until it ends. Hopefully it never ends. Hopefully it goes on forever. She finishes her career uh, undefeated on this run. 
No, I don't think that's going to happen. Come on, let's get back to reality now, eh? Right. Eager. Re well, that Eager returning, not receiving. I was going to say receiving. She is receiving and she's returning. That one goes into the net there. Let's try and sort out this scoreboard a little bit. It's bugging me a little bit today. That's a bit better. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 yeah, look at that. Perfect. Mwah. Absolutely beautiful. How is everybody in the live chat today? Uh, let me know your thoughts on the match. Let me know your thoughts on some of the other matches that are going on around Roland Garros today. We've had some results. We had Holger Rune. He's storming through again. Straight sets against Henry Laxner. We had Kasper Rude through against Emil Rusevori in straight sets. Daniel Medvedev threw in straight sets on his unfavoured clay. There's a big forehand winner from Iga Sviantek. Mir Mir Kitsmanovic threw in four sets against uh, against Alexander Bublik. And we've got David Goffan. He drops the first set against Francis Tiafoe, but goes through in four. And this guy never gets it wrong. It's Hugo Gaston. He's through in straight sets this time against Kashin. And we've got a very interesting one going on at the moment. Marin Cilic has just come back from uh, set down. He's now two sets to one up against Marton Fucevic. Will he be able to push it to five or will Cilic get that done in four? We'll have to wait and see on that one. Oh, great shot there from Ego. She's got risk. Oh, she couldn't even run for that one. Risk was sort of all over the place trying to get a racket to it. It flies off. Uh, back over the net, and then Eager just punishes the next ball. Boom! Into the corner. That's what we like to see. Eager firing already. Um, I feel a bit bad for Risk. Uh, she didn't really have much chance there on that one. Good return from Sviantek. The backhand bit loopy, though. Loose backhand there from Eager. Flies long. 30 all. I don't even feel like we've seen vintage eager yet at this role on Garros, but she's just doing enough to get through the opponents at the moment. Even if she hits half the amount of winners she normally does, it's still double the amount most people hit. And we go, risk serve him. Oh, good return from eager. They go backhand to backhand. Risks pushed her one long. Not sure. She looks a bit off balance at the moment on the baseline. Not really sure what she's doing, if I'm perfectly honest. Eve saying, I think Rune can be the surprise of the tournament. Sort of annoyed I didn't have him as my dark horse, really. I thought that would have been a real good dark horse pick. I even feel if he gets through to as far as maybe face Sissipas, should their paths cross, I think he has a chance against Sissipas. That's a bit, call me crazy. Great backhand into the corner. Risk has to only loop it up. The drive volley from Iga, but it's not a good one. Now into the other corner. Risk on the run. She's doing the bleep test. It's side to side. And here comes Iga. Big winner. Iga Tabontek. Look at that. Absolutely batters it. And it is the break. Come on. Loving it. How are we doing? Good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> it was Good the morning. Lad. Good evening. <laughs> are you cuddled up with a loved one? <laughs> <laughs> the Silk Report. We are referencing it. It will be yeah. back tonight. Um, I'm glad I didn't miss this one. We know how quick Eager can get through her matches. And I'm expecting another quick one here today. I feel like the only thing which can stop Eager right now is a COVID scare. And we know she did practice Ooh, with Klatikova the other day. It. Bad, JG. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not even going to talk out. about any more than that, but that is my only concern. Eager's just so dominant. And look at her here already breaking. I can't remember, actually, the last Eager match I've watched where she didn't start free love. Yeah, she's just... Oh, look at that backhand and risk all over the place at the moment. I feel like she's going to have legs like jelly tomorrow after yep. this one. And to reference uh, John Silk again, uh, Swan check. I reckon that we're going to be checking two swans in this one. I've gone for a 6-2, yep. 6-2. Six, two, six, two. I'm going for something more convincing. I'm going for a 6-love, six, 6-1. Six, 
Oh, I love Just it. something mad. I hope that that happens. It... She can do it, man. She can Eager's do it. Eager's not even and... playing that well either. She's playing all right. I don't think she's playing her best. Yeah. I just want to give a shout out as well to everyone in the live chat. Great to see Jean's here today. How are we doing, Jean? We've got Vanch in. How are we doing? Carlton Ooh. as well. Uh, Yves saying hello. How are we doing? Thanks for Eve. joining us. Come on. Eve. Is that how yeah. you say it? Yep. Nice. Was that a little dig at Jean there? No. I'm glad, glad <laughs> to see Jean here. Jean's here today. Well, Finally. He missed, he, missed, he missed the Djokovic one, so. I can't believe he missed the Djokovic one. I'm still a bit disappointed in Jean. Like, if you miss, you can't miss the next Djokovic I mean, one, Jean. He had studies, so we'll let him off. We'll let him off. But here we go. Eager here looking to consolidate the break. Two love. Looking for a nice free love. Oh, what a serve. That is Brilliant. down the tee. She steps in, big forehand, risk is rooted, and 10 minutes, it's the typical Iga Savantek, the consolidated free love start. I feel like she has a handicap in every match where she starts free love. Mate, I think that's what they should give her, the handicap, so she starts three yeah. love down every match, and then we might yeah. see some more even contests against Iga. But on a real one, I can't. Re I feel like every match I've watched, she's always free love. Yeah, she's there or thereabouts. It's, all, it? it's, it's like... always free love. And even when she got, I think then, uh, was it Andreescu? She got pegged back or Osaka, one of the, or Raducanu, and then she got pegged back a yeah. few times. But still, regardless, she always, she's a very quick starter and she's a very quick ender. And she's not yeah. bad in the middle as well. So <laughs> it's just a worrying <laughs> prospect, Eager, right now. And I'm all here for it. I believe this would be, if she can win this one, is it number 30? Yep, number 30. Nice number round 30. number. I like Venus that. is 35. Yep, that's correct. So just something in uh, something to keep your eye on. I know. I re if she, apparently, if she wins the tournament, she equals Venus. Okay. And so we've got that's... Meadow in saying, Risk is a very solid player who doesn't give up on herself. I was hoping for more resistance. Yeah, well, we've not seen that so far. Can't really criticise Risk because Eager's just been doing what she does. Question for the live chat. How many points will Risk get in the first set? So far, she has four. Will she get to double figures? I think that's harsh, man. I think you're you're, you're being very harsh <laughs> talking about points. She can. I agree with uh, Meadow. I think Risk is actually a very solid player. And you've got to remember, she's been through some good, some tough opposition to get to this route. Yes, yes. So I think she bad. will pick up some points. Maybe I was going a bit crazy with a 6-love, six 6-1. Six um, but it's just more credit to Eager rather than her. Yastremska, uh, who she's actually played twice in her last three matches, yep. which is a bit mad. We've got Hubie Hercatch beating Chechenato today. McDonald beating Bassas Vili. Looks like Sanego is going to beat Souza in three. Uh, Chilich in a very long one. Fourth set against Futsovic, but I think Chilich should be able to wrap that one up. Yeah, I think so. Futsovic came out. There's been a lot of those today. One player comes out fast and then yep. loses the next Let's three sets. Bublik and uh, who was the other one? A TFO, that was it. Yep. That's right. On the women's, we had Badoza struggle for against Yuvan, but wow. she did well in the third. Give Jean, us some Jean credit, I think. Knocking out Pliskova. Pliskova, literally, yeah, again, I'm not going to rip into Pliskova on this mm. one, but she's just a disgrace. Like, I can't stand her. I don't know how Ben's such a big fan. I know he has her in the top 10. I just don't understand it. Don't understand it's... your love for her. She doesn't she do well in the. Uh, she doesn't do well in the slams. Though, does she got she? to a semi-final Wimbledon. Wimbledon last year. Yeah, I know it's Wimbledon. What does that mean? I don't know. Is Wimbledon not a slam. Yeah, I know, but it's Wimbledon. Oh, that's your point. Be oh, that's Wimbledon. It's a slam. It's not, I mean, not Roland Garros, is it? She just, I don't know. I don't like her at all. Really, I, know, I don't, don't think many people do. I had uh, David was calling her the robot. <laughs> I don't know what the Plisk bot apparently. Oh, my word. Look at this. Eager here. Pinning Risk on the baseline. Crafty angle. Shifts Beauty. her out wide. Goes the other way. Risk trying to get the ball oh. back each time. But I don't know how for much longer. No, she can't get that last one. Oh, my one. word. That Eager's last one was on a tear. brutal. She she... Oh, she's talking to the umpire. I thought she was heading to the chair thinking she's got the wrong score. She's just telling someone, telling the umpire about, I think, someone in the crowd, maybe. Let's see if the umpire's aware sure. of it. But right now, we do have two break points. Eager, this is the best version of her. She started really fast in this match. And um, 
well, she's showing us why she is the heavy favourite to win this year's championship. And it is long. Oh, no. It is long. It's a bad sign for risk. It is the double break. Egov. Yes, Egov. Well, more talking I, of buttons, yeah. I think we need a new app. Uh, we need a new yeah. eager button. But there's part of me that just loves the lyrics for that. The more I hear it, the more it's so fitting for her style yeah, of play. Can't when you she... have that as the end of the chorus of the Yeah, button. yeah, I can build it up. You need up, to obviously maybe. have Yazda on there, not Let's Go. We keep talking about these things, Ben, and you're not doing it. I mean, what are you playing at? Slacking around. I know, mate. Don't know what I'm up to. Too much accounting, not enough button making. Terrible. Get me out of this room. Get me in the studio. We've got dreamt, uh, dreamt Temesis here saying Pliskova will be ranked 16 come Wimbledon. Uh, she'll lose 1,300 points. Unless she wins Wimbledon, then she'll go up. No, she won't. Because there are no points for Wimbledon this year. Then she'll go down. <laughs> she can't. You can't <laughs> gain. I mean, Djokovic's going to lose 4,000 <laughs> points. I mean, it's pretty mad. I spent what? 4,000. Well, because he's holding, isn't he, from the pre... I, th I don't know if it's still... Oh, no, because they dropped off. Maybe just to 2,000 then. Yeah, I think it's I just it was 4,000. I was like, oh, my word. It's going to be down. <laughs> God knows what position. Like saying that, it'll probably go down to about right. third then. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be that bad. He can afford to lose a few. Yeah, we need some buttons though, Ben. I need a nice eager one. You see the watched... zeng. So now you've got eager and the Dow. <laughs> I did a zeng one a minute ago. It's not one of my finest... Oh, poor shot there. Ugh, that was There's horrible. There's not many times you're going to say that. She sort of did a little pancake at the net. Not a great volley from Eager. Weird mm, technique poor. as well, and it went long. It's not her forte, that one, is it? I don't know. That's the, the one weakness I've seen in her game. Aaron saying, could you do it behind the scenes of your work in the studio? Well, we were planning on trying to do that, weren't we, in Zagreb, but things got a little bit too... Uh... She Unplanned. puts that smash away, 40-15. Oh, apologies. Yeah, Jared, the 4,000s because of the Australian Open at Wimbledon. Obviously, he wasn't allowed to play in the Australian. <laughs> I lost 2,000. And then, yeah, I did I did read it somewhere. Cheers, Jared, oh, for okay. clarifying. I appreciate that. And then... spot on. He's going to lose 2,000 points regardless from Wimbledon, though, which is mad. It is mad. Do you reckon they had to come to any arrangement? I don't that. know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I think there's going to be a few players who aren't going to turn up though this year. Uh, but there's some like Andy Murray. See his tweets about the about the whole stuff happened at Wimbledon, saying ultimately, no, no one's really going to care. Only the players no. are really affected because he. I don't know if you did. You watch read his tweet? No, I haven't seen the tweet. It's a good analogy talking about how in golf, say whoever wins the Masters, you don't care how many points they are, but you still remember the name. And exactly. he's saying that whatever happens, it's going to be thousands and millions of people watching what happens on centre court and they'll still be brandished Wimbledon champion to the rest yeah. of the world. Um, oh, for sure. But ultimately, the players will know that there's points at stake, but not everyone else knows. I mean, you wouldn't know how many points England get for a qualifying game in, in, the, in football, would you? No, exactly. No, I've never known. <laughs> no. But uh, it's interesting for uh, Djokovic, though, because... I don't think he's going to care. Like, oh, if I lose world number one, like, who cares? He's only going for the slams now, quite clearly. Like, yeah. that's his that's his aim. I don't think he's going to care if he loses 2,000 points should he win Wimbledon. Like, that's... I think it's just a non... Like, it's not even a topic, really. It's just he, ha he can win Wimbledon without playing as many players as he'd normally have to or as many good ones. Yeah, we've got Jean in saying, did anyone see the disgusting behaviour of Begu? She threw a racket into the crowd, bounced off the bench into a kid, and the umpire didn't default her. I mean, it is pretty bad viewing. I don't suppose Ooh. you've seen that either. I didn't. I um, tried to flick over when he said it earlier, and I didn't manage to catch it. No, but yeah, it's, it's not good. I don't think, she, well, she didn't get defaulted, but she should, certainly should have. I agree. It was not a good look. A point or something. Or no, 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 it or... was defaulted, worthy. Or is it? Um, we've got Vance saying, imagine Begu wins the tournament. Yeah, it would be ridiculous. Yeah, good luck. I think she's going to be heavily booed in the next one. She did apologise to the kid, Gene saying, but for me, I feel if that was someone else, they would have been defaulted. Why is she getting treatment? I don't know. 
a bit weird. Anyway, well, when this first set's nearly over. Uh, yeah, we wait safe all to say day. the bakery is open. I did say bagel, mate. I did say bagel. I like it. I like it. Let's at least try and get up to 100 likes. We know Eager's so fast, but if you haven't already, hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're only on 70 at the moment, so another 30 or so, and we can get the 100 like button up and celebrate Eager's ridiculous dominance. Look at that for a volley on top of the net. Brilliant drive volley. She's not. There's no mistake missing that one. And right now, 15, 32 points away. We've got Polish flags in the crowd. We've got Eager looking... At her very wow. best. I mean, I can't see a way she doesn't win this event. Surely. Who can stop her? Jean Jean? Maybe. Diane Parry? <laughs> I feel like it's going to have to be like a French Sabalenka. lady in crazy form. <laughs> so what Sabalenka happened to her last time, no play. All the crowd doing eager. I, think that's, I don't know. I don't think that's going to bother her, though. Halep? Ostapenko? No, There's no one. I don't, I don't see a name right now that springs to mind. I Bedoza? thought Bedoza's been the closest, but... Yuvan well, actually played really good. well. You, that was credit to Yuvan, I think, more than it was to Bedoza. I think Yuvan has been playing out of her skin, even coming into this tournament. I think it was a bad draw to even have her in your section. So I think Bedoza did well to rally in that last set, but still, I don't think Eager would have dropped a set. Ray, there's just confirming Jean Jean. Um... We'll defeat Begu next round. Apparently, so. Cut Carlton saying the racket didn't actually touch anyone. Uh, that's why she wasn't defaulted. Bagel. I just still think it wasn't a very good look. Do we have a bagel button? No. No. Easy. Easy. Eager. It rhymes yeah, nearly. Yeah, it's the... <laughs> I mean, for people just joining us, it's been a 20-minute first set. We've got Alison Risky sitting in her chair with her eyes closed, I think praying um, that she doesn't get bageled again. I don't think she's praying to get back in the match. She's probably praying that the score is going to be respectable. Eager, though, she moved her from left to right. She had every shot in the book. Risk looks like a junior compared to her. I don't I mean, I don't want to be harsh because I think Risk's quite a good player, but I feel anyone well, who, who faces her at the moment just gets the same treatment. Well, I've said the comparison before, mate, and I'm going to say the comparison again. This level of domination reminds me of when Federer suddenly started playing well on the tour, on the men's tour, and no one could even get near him on the on the court. It was like literally just wiped the court with everybody for quite some time. Yeah. And I remember, well, I always tell you about that one where he got to the Wimbledon. I think it was semi-finals, yeah. and it was Bjorkman, and he beat him like. Six three six one six love or something in a semi final of a grand slam. I'm like, this is terrible. What is going on? That dominant. Yeah. Do you remember? I don't know how much you know about Risk. I know we used to talk about her a little bit before the podcast, didn't we? Occasionally. A bit, yeah. And she had a good spell where she was winning quite a few matches. But on tour, she, I would say, is considered a very hard hitter. That's probably her biggest asset. She can hit the ball very hard. And that often can be a bit over, overwhelming for opponents. Look at her here today. I mean, this is the hard-hitting risk. I've never Serious seen her run tennis so player. much. Like, Where is she in the rankings, risk, now? Uh, at the moment, she's at number 53. So it's a 50, for me, a top 50 player. She's around that sort of mark. Just yeah, yeah. nowhere near it. Just nowhere near it. I mean, Eagles should be playing her own event. It's like she's playing a different sport. Wow, look at that. That's Backhand the... down the line. This one could be done in 40 minutes, maybe. Maybe less. How We've many got Jared points, in though? saying Risk is a grass court specialist. Granted, maybe Clay's not her surface, but she definitely does strike the ball very hard, um, Risk. So what did you say when I said how many points would Risk get in the first set? And I said, will she get? Uh, will she even get 10? She got one, two, three, four, five, seven. There you go. She didn't make it to 10. She didn't make it to 10. I mean, I thought you'd been harsh on risk because I thought she, well, like <laughs> I, keep, I keep bigging her up, but she keeps <laughs> embarrassing me on the podcast. <laughs> the um, hard hitting risk. But I don't know. I don't think she is. But I just feel like it's ego, isn't it? Just doing what she's doing. It's look at just... look at risk there. She just turned around to her box and started laughing because Eager's made a mistake, missed the line. And it's if to say to her box, I think that's the only way I'm going to win a point today. 
literally. I've never seen someone play so many defensive like lobs back. Like she, oh, she's that's the only thing she can do. There's no, she can't go on the attack at all. You literally have to hit, hit a winner off of her serve to get in front in the rally. That's oh, amazing my word. shot. Look at that one. <laughs> oh, well done, Risk. In, though. Well done. Here we go, Risk. She's warming up now. Yeah, it's out. Oh, right. Shame. <laughs> Warmed up. She was doing better, it. though. That's the best passage she had. She had to hit lines, had to hit deep, play great defensive play. It still wasn't enough, though. And Eager gets yet another point. 40 15. Only 25 minutes on the clock. Make sure if you haven't already, hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, another 20 likes to go. Yep, not far. Come on, we can hit that 100 before the end of this match. Or maybe before the end of this game. If you're really quick at it. Just going to... Here we go. Eager looking to hold serve in the first game of the second set. Seems to be a little bit of wind blowing over. Camila George is just someone. beating Putin Saver. Actually surprised about that one. Forehand to backhand, Ooh. playing it into the other side. That's oh, it's wild from Eager. A lot better. She started the second set a lot stronger. Couldn't start it any worse, could she? True. Um, Human Entity saying, Risk dance to a Bollywood song uh, at her wedding. Beautiful. I've not seen that. Nice. Did she recently get married? Don't know. I know you like to keep up with current affairs and tennis. Yeah, weddings, relationships. That's me. Uh, Halep just taken the first set against Kin Win Zeng. Six games to two. Nice. Halep on a collision course with Eager, potentially. Yeah, we're covering that one as well right now, aren't we, with Faizan? That is correct. I'm sure a lot of you will be going over there very soon, probably. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, exactly. Maybe in about 15 minutes. I don't know. This is, this is a lot better, though. Oh, yeah. look at that. It's a great shot from Risk. Yeah. And she's trying to get this one to do. She forces it very deep. Uh, oh, and then struggles with the backhand. But encouraging signs. Well done to Risk. I mean, I don't know how I'm saying well done. She just lost seven <laughs> games in a row. But this, oh, feels well like, this feels like a well done moment for Alison. Because she just did something a little bit different. Yeah, indeed. Right. Well, as we've had seven games in a row, I know what Risk could probably do with right now. Maybe a little bit of mental tennis training, I think, JG, just to get her back in the zone. Uh, maybe some wise words from some experts could really help her. I'm the most guilty of playing freely during practice, but then going to pieces during the match and playing very passively. This new app by Apeak Tennis, it changed the game. One session and I was already hitting with more controlled aggression on the court. If you spend five to 15 minutes of focused time utilizing Apeak Tennis, then over time you will expand your mental skills and start playing great during competition. A-Peak Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Leyer, who helped 17 athletes become world number one, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Carrier, Monica Seles, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At A-Peak, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable. For less than $6 a month, build annually, you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process. Plus, this offer comes with an additional seven day free trial. So if you are unhappy, you can cancel for free. Apeak Tennis is already used by so many top US college teams and top players. Tennis is full of fine margins. With Apeak Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage. Apeak Tennis, take care. Of up there. Right, that's it. Get your seven day free trial today and improve your mental side of your tennis game. Is Alison Risk going to be able to do it here in the second yep. set? She's going to need to tap into something else to try and get back into this match.
yeah make sure you get your seven day free trial while it lasts it is a really good app me and ben use it um and it did help ben when he played me in the last match right 15 30 though going the same way as the last set at the moment it's this very interesting ball toss that risk has as well if you've noticed it it doesn't start from down it starts from her head nearly uh, yeah it's uh, a very it's a very weird serve i mean if it works for her it works for her my serve is not exactly a pit a work of art and it's quite effective so i'm gonna leave risk alone yeah i think it just do what works for you that's the key yeah in serving that's long. Not sure if it's working right now, though, because Iga is absolutely taking her to pieces, taking her to the cleaners and spitting her out again because it is two break points to start the second set. Risk showed some signs in the first service game from Iga. Uh, just ultimately not at the same level, is she? Not even close. Ah, oh, dear. Right, Risk serving. That's just long. She's going to have a second serve flying back at her now what's eager going to do with it That's i mean the it question. is remarkable isn't it here it comes oh she, she gets it back sat, sat down on that one quite a good second serve oh good. great shot from risk but she's still on the there back foot is. i mean risk does a good shot and eager still breaks off who is this girl she's a robot she's so good i love her <laughs> we need to watch what's going well, on. I can't. I'm not looking at any other calls. Pa you know? Patrick saying ban Spiontek, maybe send her to the ATP. <laughs> what do you do listen, with her? She's listen. She's gonna. I don't know what she's. If she went to the ATP, she's a top ten player. I'm sorry, Ben. She's so good. <laughs> she's just too good. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not accepting no for an answer. She's amazing. I'm really growing. I'm actually falling in love with Eager, kind of thing. Mate, I think everyone is. I think that that's, you can't help it. No. Look at Sam. What she's doing. We've, got the, we've got the eager emotes in the chat. We've got our room going, eager, 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 eager. Make sure if you want your eager emotes, down, uh, join the membership. We've got Carlton in with the eagers as well. We've got Gene in with the eagers. Come on, give me some more eagers in the live Come chat. On. I'm loving it. Let's do it. Yeah, I think she. I, everyone's, I'm definitely under her spell. You're under her spell. I think the whole world, uh, hopefully, the Grand Slam organizers can get under her spell and stop putting her on Suzanne Longland. Put her on Philip Chatrier. Disrespect. Yeah, I know. It's a bit ridiculous. Don't want to see that again. They'll probably Otherwise, put her on Suzanne Longland for the final if she gets there. I want to see her on They'll centre court. no one court. plan on the centre. <laughs> centre court at Wimbledon. I want to see her. We've got Vanch in saying, haven't seen this since Serena 2016. It's pretty mad. High the thing grade. is, in, just hear me out, Vanch. In 2016, was Serena like bageling everyone though? I feel like she was just winning, right? She wasn't that dominant in terms of the score lines. Of course, there was a lot of dominant ones, but it didn't seem to as many bagels and breadsticks. Yeah. Or is that just me? Is it just the level of competition's not as good? I don't know. It's hard to say, isn't it? I don't know. I think there is some good competitive players on the women's tour, though. There really is. Do you not think? There is, but then the, no one has the power. Like, when we had uh, Sharapova, people like that, she was also another one with the power. Like, I don't know. It's just different. It's a different era. But Barty? We'll never know. <laughs> Would you love to watch Iga versus Barty now? Well, it's Barty with a golf club in her hand rather than a tennis racket. No, come on. You know what I mean? If Barty yeah, yeah. was on court, she'd still be pretty... I mean, it was only a few months ago she won she'd, she'd the Australian still probably, Open. So. She'd still be up there. She'd still probably beat everybody else. He'd come back and, and then Eager would be the only one challenging. It's crazy that she did uh, stop playing, though, because in terms of just even money, say if you lost love for it, she could make a ton of money right now on oh, tour. Yeah. She played a lot of events. Hell yeah. I'm interested to see how Barty does in her next sport. Oh, oh, what a shot that is. Eager steps into it. Forehand down the line. Rafael Nadal-esque at Roland Garros. She's moving so well on the clay. And that is a fantastic winner from her. 
Yeah, if you do want to pick up any eager merchandise as well, we've got the number one eager collection there. I'm going to pop that in the live chat. Uh, get yourself. There's a whole array, a whole collection. You can get backpacks. You can get T-shirts, hoodies. Wow, great shot Ooh, from Risk, finally. She's got serious power, Risk. That's why you saying she's got she's a real big heavy hitter on tour. We're just not seeing it right now because you're just not allowed to. Not allowed to. We've hit 100 likes. Thanks, everybody. And that's one. You can press it. All right. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's get it up to 200. Iga doing the business right now. She's got advantage to win nine games in a row. We've had 35 minutes on the clock. Let me know in the live chat. How quickly is Eager going to win this match? I want to have the exact minute. Let's get your predictions in for that right now. Right, I'm going to go first, Ben, and I'm going to have 49 minutes. Quite like that. It's quite a good one. Got got a picked a nice little. One. Maybe I, <laughs> that means I have to always go one minute either side. Oh, no, no, I? you're not doing one minute either side. You're not allowed to do that this time. That's oh. cheating. We've got Akalin with 46 minutes. We've got SXM 48 minutes. I'll go with. Uh, so he's got one below me. Carlton 40, says 40, I'm going to be done by 50. So basically, I can only 40, win now. If 45, it's 49. 45. Okay, Ben's going 45. Gene's going 53. Gene's expecting a bit of a risk fight back here. I think it's going to be a double bagel. Sam going person. for 50. Simon going for 44 minutes. No BS going for 52. I don't see risk winning a game. I'm not going to lie. I think 49 is quite a nice one. I think it's going to happen. You're expecting like there to be one juice, maybe, or some longer rallies. Just a bit of a longer rally, but ultimately she's going to bagel her here anyway. It's a bit mad. If you are just joining, make sure to whack a like on the video for Iga Sviantek. We're up to 113. Let's get up to 200. If we can do that in a quick stream, I'll be super impressed. Yeah, me too. I'd love to get there uh, because I'm such a big Iga fan and I feel like she just deserves them. She deserves I every like. Uh, we actually have two eager collections. If the eager fans call themselves eagernators, if you want an eagernator t shirt, that one is available. The link I've popped that in the live chat as well. It's underneath the video. You'll see links or pictures of the t shirts as well. Feel yeah. free to lap one of those ones up. Yeah, I've not got one yet, mate. I'm getting one soon. I I'm am going to get an eager T-shirt for sure. I think it'll be great for, for the streams. Waiting for Friday. <laughs> I'll pay though. <laughs> That's it, mate. Yeah, running a bit empty myself. Don't. It's one of those ones. Simon saying at this point you should get a few extra ranking points if you play eager and don't get double bagels. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Do you think you should get like um? If you can get, say, seven games or five games off Eager, then you get a few extra points like to towards bonus. your ranking. It's like a bonus. That would be funny if they did that. Oh, great shot from Risk there. Ooh, Backhand into the corner. She's here turning she it around here. Is this the comeback? I mean, it was a good shot. All right. Well, some of the other matches going on at the moment. Sabalenka's just kicked off. She's up a break already against Bringle. Yeah, Sabal really struggled in that last match. Uh, so good to see her forcing a little bit of a comeback here in this one. I think she was down a set and a break. Was that right? I can't remember. Oh, fantastic backhand so. from Iga. Yeah, we was doing a stream and I said it. it was and you was like, oh my Paquette, word. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was down a set and a break. I'm pretty it, sure. It was typical Sabal performance. This one looks like it's starting a bit more convincing with a break don't, against Brangle to start. Don't believe in it too soon. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, big moments here. Eager gets the forehand back in play. She goes down the centre of the court. Risk running from side to side. She oh. can't stop that one, though. Oh. Yeah. Risk <laughs> is just looking. She's just, she must be just demoralised walking around. 
I just don't understand how you can just do this on every shot. Just do you Listen, think, oh, I've got it back over. Just flies past. Listen, I hope you. we get to play tennis later on because um, I'm hoping I give you the Allison Risk treatment. What you keep looping it back? <laughs> or the eager treatment? <laughs> Sorry, the eager treatment. You're yeah. going to be Allison Risk. If I'm even half Walking as around. good as Risk, I'll probably be all right. <laughs> you beat me. <laughs> Just be happy to be out on the court. <laughs> Rather be out Vance, there than sat here. Vance saying bonus prize money for winning a game. That's ridiculous. So it'd be too happened? early, too early for our booking. I think at this right. I mean, it is. <laughs> I know, we'll have to get on the court before. <laughs> so, but there we go. Break point, eager. Risk goes into the net. We've got, give me some stats as well. We've got Veronica in, a uh, great name, saying she won nine games in 36 minutes, which makes four minutes per game. If she continues it this way, it will be 48 minutes. See, look, yeah. I'm very good at maths, and that's why I worked out in my little computer, and I added an extra minute for human error. What about changeovers? Maybe that, the minute changeover. Yeah, that's not counted. Isn't it? I thought they count that on the time. Mm. What about medical timeout? Risk just pulls one in there. Does that count? Ruins everything. Yeah, it does ruin it. Can't believe that this is what's happening though right now. But here's the juice that you were hoping for. Slows it all down a little bit. I don't need one. I need her to break <laughs> now. <laughs> for a hold... time. Oh, Ooh. God. That was aggressive, wasn't it? No need to shout it that loud. We know it was out. Check and serve. Oh, it just about creeps Ooh. in. But nice too much power ball. it comes back with. And it is another break point for Eager. Right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. The, t the calculation takes into account changeovers. Yeah, that's what I thought. We got Garen has the first set against Ivashka at the moment. Nice. Uh, but they're nearly into a tie break in the second. Garen trying to force it into one. I beat the odds there, Garen. Yeah, it's a good one, Garen. It's not the worst draw, is it? No BS saying how much is risk getting paid for this pummeling? Probably a lot more than that... us, <laughs> to yeah. be honest. Yeah. <laughs> a I lot more it's... than me and you combined, I'm sure. Yeah. Pretty mad, though, isn't it? You can get pummeled and then just get a nice payout. I wouldn't mind getting pummeled by Eager just to get this amount of money. We get to get pummeled today. She's going to receive eighty six thousand pounds. <laughs> eighty six thousand. <laughs> Not, Not bad, bad is, is it? it? It's pretty good. Oh, advantage risk. What's going on? The crowd are getting on their yeah, feet. Yeah, Sab, she's ruined it. She, I mean, risk has just ruined my prediction. It's going to be more now. Yeah. It's, gonna it's not going to be done in seven now. minutes, is it? Just this juice is too long. No, I think I'm wishful thinking. We're trying to get it done too quick. I don't want it. Oh. I don't want it to be done that quick. It's now oh. going to be fifty-six. I think. <laughs> it's changing it. No, I'm keep. I have to keep with it. What happens if she holds to love? Like she. Oh, risk! Look. Oh, look! She's <laughs> celebrating. Alison Risk. <laughs> Alison Risk is celebrating right now. She's loving it. She's got a game. Let's go, risky. Come this far, enjoy the show. Don't take a risk. How you know? How you know? If you don't take a risk, how you know? Listen, I'm going to be honest. That's actually one of my favourite moments of Roland Garros this year. <laughs> I'm winning the game. No, just seeing Risk like raising her hand up in the air, celebrating her winning the game. It was a very warm moment. And listen, I actually really like Alison Risk. She has a great. She comes across very well. I think she's a really nice. Oh human yeah! Look at that, mate. She's making Eager play an extra shot again. She's won the first point on the Eager serve. Is she turning it around, JG? I knew there'd be someone picking up on this pummeling. Uh, we've got Vance with the dirty minds, and I don't <laughs> I mind getting pummeled by Eager. <laughs> I was Jay Sus G. Yeah, I was trying not to uh, repeat it after it was said. 
I don't mean like that. I mean in a tennis fashion, Vanch. Oh, no. Look at that. Big forehand from her. Well, that was uh, back to normal service being resumed there. Risk got Gina saying, Risk is such a joy. She really is. Do you not get a good feeling from her? I just like the fact she was smiling about it as well. Just she turned around, around to the crowd and was like, well, <laughs> she's got a game. What else are you supposed to do, though? I don't understand. There she comes again. There's another one. Boom. Just... Does Eager have tougher training sessions? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Who does she train with? <laughs> Bears. Maybe. Who knows? I've seen our UFC fighters. They've, they've trained with Bears. Khabib Nurmagomedov, yeah. yeah it's his mad. dad making him fight Bears at that's a young ridiculous. age. <laughs> I'm sorry. Russian's different, like, uh, different I wonder if Eager trains with, like, Bears. They're, like, fighting her while she's trying to hit forehands. <laughs> Grabbed on, on, her on her leg while she's hitting a forehand. <laughs> oh, it's got lions long. just like circling her. Why not? Karatsev. <laughs> <laughs> she could probably beat Karatsev at the moment. Look at what Karatsev's been playing. It's a bit mad though. Do you remember my prediction at the start? Six love, six one. Mm, I yeah, nice. listen, I hate, I hate to say it, Ben. Jay Genius is coming back Psycho's again. Psycho's reminding us all there. I did say at the start, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, you've done some good, like, set prediction scores in this Roland Garros. The Garrett raffle so one, 6 2, 6 2, 6 did 2. The before good, it started. Uh, you did the tie break tie one. Break, yeah. Which one match was that one in? I don't know. I can't remember now, but I remember it. 7 4. Oh, no, it was a uh, Noskova, wasn't it? That's it. How could I forget? Oh, yeah. And I said that that one was going to come back and win in three. When you didn't believe me, you was like, oh, Noskova's going to win from here. She's so good. I don't know. didn't say that. I think you did. Not. I remember watching it. He was like, oh, I don't know. I think you're just saying that to cover all bases. Yeah, no, you don't believe I... it. No, I was saying that you were probably were saying it. it to cover all bases. No, I believed it. I don't know. Didn't I believe in your qualifier enough. to watch. You're number one. I, I believe in her enough, but I wanted her to win. I didn't think she was going to, though, clearly. Could see her falling apart. Sad. Do you believe in my qualifier to watch? No. <laughs> what do you mean no John don't either John doesn't give it the credit it deserves oh what? great forehand Eager <laughs> does hold serve she was under pressure a little bit there though dropped two points on her serve but ultimately um, well it's just normality has resumed Eager holds again Easy. and she leads here for one easy isn't it yeah we've got no BS and the production quality on that risk song Fire yeah. enjoys it. We don't get to often, do we? Quite, yeah, I quite like the wrist song. It's got, got a good Gary name. In saying, oh my gosh, there's a one on the scoreboard. Yeah, no, a bit mad, isn't it? Risk has, has hit three winners here today. Not more than some other people manage against Eager. <laughs> I've got another question for you as well. So we saw Risk there celebrate after she gets a game. <laughs> if she gets two, does she knee slide? Yes or no? She might, she might do the Kyrgios round the court, I think. No, that's free. If she got free games, she goes around the court high-fiving everyone. <laughs> well, that be and I'm going to be cheering for it as well. I'm going to be, be going, ooh, while she's running around, I'm going to be singing the, the Risk song. If she doesn't take a risk, how will she know? That's what it says. I don't think she even has the opportunity to take a risk on any rally, though. She's just literally... Getting pummeled, like you said, <laughs> yeah. into a submission. Yeah, cheers for this, Eves. Um, saying you did not make a bad choice in taking Noskova as your qualified to watch. I think, listen, I, I'll stand by it. I think I won the qualified to watch purely because of that pick. It's not always about the results. The way she burst on the scene against Radu Khan was impressive. And even Ben now has started doing a bit of research about Noskova. It's created a little bit of a narrative in everyone's head. And you know what? She'll always be my qualifier to watch. No one can ever take that away from me. And Ben will always be scat off. We'll all remember it. Don't no, worry, it's all good. I remember my Zabata Morales, who's doing very well yeah, in this tournament. On that one. He's a, he's a known player. He's not like a... It's not a he's new doing player well. on the tour. If you picked a new, like a scat off, like someone new to come through, and then it, that, nah, that's you know, you know that's well. more that's more nah, impressive. I, I like I like my pick. I'm standing by my man. It's about Morales. Now, 28? 
No, he's about 25. It's over the hill, I think. Nah, mate, he's got Big John he's in the next the round. He's gonna he's gonna go to another through another round. He's he's retire, taking out so. the big taking out the big man. <laughs> Still in the qualifiers, he's due to retire soon, Ben. It's about the mate, he's, he's old, like yours, gone boss. How old is he? About 42. You always have him <laughs> in your qualifiers to watch. I did it this year. <laughs> Just as well. I think he only, only had one leg. No, we go. We're at 49 anyway. So my prediction was oh, definitely wrong. That's a great winner there from Risk. Ben's was a lot worse at 45, just to remind everyone. <laughs> I was hoping for the bagel. Didn't get it. <laughs> the bagel, still, 45 was still a bit extreme. I know. I was hoping it would be done and dusted. I want to get out of here. I don't. I want this to go on. I love watching Ego. I like watching her pummel people. I don't like watching the opponents come back. Well, she's hardly come back then. She won a game. That's it's too many. I don't like <laughs> you're it. Talking, it's bad. You're talking as if Risk has come back into this match. She's down 4-1 in the second set after being bageled in the first. I don't like these positive score lines on her serve. 30-15. to 15. Eager. Sort it out. Well, we've got set point Garen here in the tie break. Come on, Garen. Evans on court now. Up against Ema. Well, there we go. Into the net from Risk, and it is 30 all. Can she get to the number five here, Eager, and then serve it out? Yeah, Kim if you wins. are a big Eager fan like me and Ben, make sure hit the like button on the video. Mm. Even if you're a Risk fan, give her a like as well and subscribe if you're new. Sabah's doing well. Garen takes the second set. Seven points to five. Here we go, 40-30. Good serve there from Risk. So we've got big Steve Johnson's up against Jules Simon. Will Jules Simon have any energy left? That's the question. He's already down a break. Oh, Risk here, digging her heels in, prepared to get dirty if she needs to. Oof. And that one <laughs> is into the net. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Yeah. Risk is out serve again. Wow. Come this far, enjoy the show. Don't take a risk. How you know? How you know? If you don't take a risk, how you know? She's yes, taking indeed. a risk right now, Alison Risk. She's doing all right. It's only one break. Can she get back in the match, maybe? She's proved she's not prepared to just roll over right now. She <laughs> is going to be <laughs> fighting until the end. <laughs> 15, love. Here We've got comes. Art Projects in the ultimate comeback. <laughs> Surely she can't come Would back. Would be mad. What was my prediction? 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. Yeah, you might get a set, right? Maybe. Oof, it's hitting it a lot better now, though, Risk. Seems to have finally found... Oh, no, sorry. But then, what was... can... on a real one, though, we've watched a lot of tennis, yeah? Risk was doing very well there, yeah? What could she have done different? I mean, let's have a look at this shot. This is not a bad shot. Look at that. That's not a bad shot. I guess the Green... only problem is with it, it's not deep enough, is it? It's not it's not deep enough and it's not like into a corner enough. All she needs to bring her into the net. That's about the only ways you can do it. Right yeah, on it's, the, either side. I agree. I think basically what we're seeing here is anything inside the baseline or anything what's not got eager moving a lot, it's just no good. She'll hit a winner no. off it. She can find a winner from anywhere, backhand, forehand. As long as it's inside the court, you've kind of already lost the point. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous really how and that I mean, is we robotic. Play tennis as well how mad's that like if we had to i had to make sure i hit the baseline every time pretty much just in my chance. mind that's like my dream if i was to step on court and then the ball just lands in the court and i can just go swap and it just goes into a corner every time and a winner yeah she's tried to find the other corner it was too tough of a shot to make missed it and it's a game to love or eager
Wow. Safe to say Halep's doing the business as well in the other one. Yeah. Up a break and a set. We've, We've got, got Garin up two yeah. sets to love. We have indeed. And Garin would meet the winner of Rublev Del Bonis, uh, should he go through. So that'd be quite an interesting one. The winner of this goes through to face Danka Kovanich, who got through in straight sets against Schmeidlova earlier on. Kovanich had a good run, beating Samsonova and Schmeidlova. Hmm. Eager potentially next on the list for her, though. What? Tougher. She'll play Schmeidlova, is it? No, she just beat Schmeidlova today. And oh, now so it'll play be Kovanich. Ko yeah, okay. Kovanich next up. Got you. In the, so Halep, if she wins, looks like she probably will. She will go through. She's to... been broken, by the way. Halep's oh. just been broken in the second set. Uh, King on, Zeng, Zeng back on serve. Oh, maybe we've, we're hearing the first Zeng button from yeah. uh, Faizan in that other stream. It's not a good one. I'm not going to lie. I just, I this, I was hoping Gaston went on a bit longer so I'd have time. And then it, it went, it finished. And I was like, oh, uh, uh, quickly, just yeah, make him something. Quick, I know. So, uh, so Oster look, I don't know if you've oh. seen tomorrow, Ben. Sorry. The, go on. The, the matches. Oh, sorry. I'll let you talk about Ostapenko because that's today. Yeah, Ostapenko Corne is the final match on. It's the night match. That will play the uh, the winner of Zeng Halep. And the night match tomorrow is Korda Alcaraz. Wow. Seb Korda Alcaraz is the night match tomorrow. Very We have Nadal van der Zanslap at one o'clock. Brilliant. And Djokovic well, that... Bedeni, 12.30. So Djokovic and oh. Nadal playing at the same time, it seems, tomorrow. So We've got mean. Medvedev in the morning, maybe. I don't know if that's going to be moved. 10 a.m. Who's on Philip Chatrio? Good question. Not sure. Maybe Nadal. I'm sure it's Nadal. Come on, it can't not be Nadal. We've got Sarif, who's pulled out of her match. Oh. And Zidanezic gets a walkover. It's not Nadal. Nadal's not? on Suzanne Longland. Okay. We've got Bencic Fernandez at 11. We've got Coco Goff Kanepi at 11.30. Wow. What a I mean, day. they're all happening at the midday. <laughs> what a day tomorrow. I mean, look at those matches, mate. There's yeah, so good many ones. good ones. Hopefully, we're going to have everyone working as well. We're going to have David. We're going to have Liam. We're going to have Faisan. We're going to have Ben. And we're going to have me. So, we're going to have a full GTL. Harman. A full Monty. I'm not sure if Harman's about tomorrow. I'm not sure. And you missed the big match. Uh, Zabata Morales versus Isner. That one's on court seven. I thought you was going to say, but you missed John T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Miss Johnsy as well. Yeah. So we John might have to call on. They're saying tomorrow is a great day. Yes, might it have, certainly does look like one. Might have Davor. Who knows? Find out. Great serve oh, there, wrist. Wow. Unreturnable. She put everything into it because her role on Gower status is on the line here. Two points away from going out. You're a bit annoyed that I know that when we did the actual draw preview and we saw the actual draw, is there not a way that they could have at least like tried to schedule it so that all the best matches aren't on the same day all the time? I know what you mean. But it's, so just, it's just, just annoying. Is, like man. you have one sort of dead day and it's one is like the draw. It's because the draw is unbalanced. That's the reason why it's like it. Uh, but quickly cut into the match. We do have match point 58 <sighs> minutes on the clock. Match point. Eager, bageled risk in the first set. She's looking for a swan here to go 6 2. She's going to have a second serve to look at. You just know she's going to attack this second serve. It doesn't look good for Alison Risk. Can Eager advance to the next round? Ice. No, she can't because <laughs> Risk pulls out a second serve ace. Come this far. Enjoy the show, don't take a risk, how you know, how you know, if you don't take a risk, how you know. It's just in time for a second serve again. She doesn't find an ace this time. Goes backhand, forehand, eager Whoa. into the net. Alison Risk advantage. Looks like she's going to force eager now past the hour. 
I think that's wow. an achievement in itself. Extra bonus points. Extra prize money, extra points. The lot Alison Risk deserves right now because can she hold? Well, she's 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 broken ego, hasn't she? No. No. Just held, doesn't she? No, no breaks. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, loops it up. Lands in. Eager. Backhand cross court. How does she still get the angles on that? It's landed in from risk. There's a winner. Nice. <laughs> back to juice. Back back to normal. Normality resumed. Eager here, locked in a juice. Risk doing all she can to just prolong this match. Ivashka's taking a break early in the third in the other match going on right now against Garen. Oh, that Ooh, one was just late. That was a late oh. call. Really late call. The umpire's off his chair to check the mark. And he's saying the no. ball was in. Oh, so, so bad I think call. it was a bad call there from the Re line judge. Retake it. Preliminary yeah. service. Yeah, it's so a first serve again for risk. I mean, she probably prefers the second serve, especially after that ace. Maybe she should just do that first. One hour on the clock. Here she comes. Nope. Oh, no, it does land in. Another first serve. Yep. Going to be here forever on this first serve. Got Gary and saying, oh my gosh, is there a two on the scoreboard? <laughs> He's coming What's... back. Yes, there is. There might be a three in a minute as well, Gary. A... Comes back, it's five all. <laughs> then a seven. As <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. Oh, oh it's out. Oh. Definitely out. I don't know how she missed it. It was a bad shot from her. And it is the second match point. Match point. Thanks for so many people joining us. Over 700 people in. If you haven't already, hit a like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. She hits the net cord again. And if you want to support the channel, join the Patreon. Join the membership. It really helps us do more of these live watch-alongs. And we do really appreciate it. Uh, it's going to be second serve because she misses that one. Feel free also to join the Discord where you can watch a lot of these live tennis matches and uh, speak to our community. Eager goes big. That one's long. There you go. And she's done it. Eager Savantec wins another match. That's number 30 now. 30 in a row. And she's the big favourite to win Roland Garros into the third round. Easy as you like. Six love, six two. I'm eager when I meet ya. I'm a beach, I'm gonna be just like that bang and Iga Sviontek is through yet again into another round of Roland Garros she will face Danka Kovanic in the next round and will she be able to put up a stiffer test because Iga cruised through that one dropped only two games who can stop her that's the big question uh, we're posing to everybody, and I'm not sure who has the right answer. Well, for you, know. who's closest to it at the moment? Who's still left in? No one's really close, but I'd say who out of who's left in, I was even going to say before today's match, I thought Pagula looked quite good, and then she yeah. went from 5-1 up and lost six games in a row serving out for the match. Uh, so now I, don't, I have no clue. I'd say... If Saba plays well, maybe her. But she did terrible against Iga last time anyway. Yeah. So I have no, I don't think there's anybody that really jumps off the page. Coco Goff, maybe? Don't know. Coco's got a nice section. I do have yeah. her in the semi-final, so hopefully she can keep advancing. Uh, but we're going to wrap this one up. It's another Iga victory. She's playing so well. You can't miss any of our Iga streams because we're not going to miss any of them ourselves. And I really enjoyed that one as much as it was uh, very one-sided. It was a nice moment seeing Risk win a, win a game and I celebrate. And I thought that was funny. And ultimately, I thought most impressive thing for me about Iga today was her backhands. I thought she stepped in the court extremely well and hit a lot of winners off that side. And I can't wait for her next match. Danka Kovinic, probably another few bagels, I'm sure. <laughs> Slightly tougher, I feel like this one. I feel Kovinic has come in playing a little bit better, but it's just a different animal when you get on court with Iga. Your game doesn't uh, really even matter anymore. You just have to, how good's your defence? That's what's yep. normally what it's all about. 
I don't know. I, th- I know what you mean. Kovinic is a good, better clay quarter. I think Risk overall is a better player, so it could even out. Uh, but let's wait and see what happens to that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you very soon. If you're at a loose end now and you want to watch more tennis, we are covering Halep. So go join Faze. Oh, Zeng just He's broke. doing that right now. Zeng is now 4-2 up in the second set against Ooh. Simona Halep. That one could be going to three. Join Faizan for that coverage now. Yeah, see you soon. Thank mm-hmm. you.